up, YouTube math world? This is how to pass the FSA, the fourth grade edition. Today we're working on our third standard today. It's maths.4.oa.1.3, which is lesson three, multi-step problem. Multi-step problems. Let me teach you. Example one. Of course I'm gonna use my cubes strategy today. James wants to buy the same number of scarves for four of his friends. So he has four friends. He has $75 and each scarf costs $6. What is the largest number of scarves, let me just do all that, that James buys for each of his friends. This is a wordy problem. Do not run, do not hide, stick with me, okay? You don't just read it one time either, okay? This is a long problem. There's a lot of steps involved. Again, it's a multi-step word problem. You've gotta stick with it. You've gotta draw it out one step at a time. James wants to buy the same number of scarves for four of his friends. So, there's this guy. His name is James, okay? James is like, oh, I wanna be so nice and I wanna buy the same number of scarves for four of my friends. I've got my friend number one, you know, they're little friends, friend number two, friend number three, and friend, oops, not number nine, friend number four, okay? He has four friends. Look, I'm drawing it out, I'm making sense of it. He has $75. <clears throat> Put that under James because that's who has it. He has $75 and each scarf, I can't draw a scarf, but I'm going to try. It's going to look kind of like, whoo, okay, there's a scarf. No, it looks like one of those ribbons that you put on your car, but each scarf costs $6. What is the largest number of scarves that James, James buys for each of his friends? So how basically how many friends? scarves can each friend get? <clears throat> okay. First, I need to figure out how many scarves he can buy with $75. Then, I need to distribute the scarves that he buys to each friend to see what the largest number of scarves is that he can buy. So, if he has $75 and each one costs $6. I have a total and I need to divide my money into groups of $6. So in fourth grade, we know long division is our BFF. Six goes into seven, one time. One times six, six. Um, and then bring down the five. Six goes into 15. Six, 12, 18, nope. Too much, 612. So two times, two times six is 12. Three is our remainder. Three is, I know it's the remainder because it's left less than six. So 12 remainder three. And what does this mean? This means that he can buy 12 scarves and have three scarves remaining? Nope. 12 scarves and he has three dollars left. Okay, he has three dollars left. So how many scarves can he buy? He can buy 12 scarves, okay? And now he needs to go back to our question, what is the largest number of scarves that James buys for each friend? Well, he has 12 scarves that he can buy total, and now we need to distribute those 12 scarves to his four friends. So, one scar for you, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I just distributed the twelve scarves that he bought to each friend. What's the largest number? The largest number would be three. Could he have given them each two? Sure. Could he have given them each one? Sure. But it says the largest number. The largest number that he could possibly give them would be three scarves. So let me teach you how to do this one. 
Sue bought three pillows. Each pillow costs fourteen dollars. She also bought two picture frames and each one costs eight dollars. Which equation represents the situation? Um, these look, there's, I've got parentheses, I've got adding and multiplication, I've got an unknown number t. So this is kind of confusing, so let's break it down first by drawing it out, and then we'll, we'll um, what's the word, apply the, mathematic, the mathematics, the numbers and symbols to represent our picture. Part B says, what was the total amount? that Sue spent. So we'll get there. Let's break it down and draw it out. Sue bought three pillows. Okay, three pillows. Each pillow cost $14. Easy enough. She also bought two picture frames. Make this look a little bit more like a picture frame. Now I know I'm harping on you about drawing it out. I do not claim to be the best drawer. Okay, math is my thing. Art, I know that I currently struggle with it, but you get it. She also, oh, she also bought two. I know some of you are like, no, 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 I do. You need to stop talking and get to work. Me, not you. Two picture frames each cost eight dollars. All right. So which equation represents the situation? So here I have, I'm adding, really adding these together. I'm solving out what um, 14 plus 14 plus 14 is, or three times 14, because I have three of the same thing, three groups of 14. And then I'm adding eight plus eight, or multiplying two times eight, which would give me my total, which is t. So let's go over here. 3 plus 14 plus 2 plus 8. No, I'm not adding them. I have to multiply them. It's not 3 plus 14. It's three groups of 14. It's two groups of 8. 3 times 14 plus 2 times 8 equals t. Yep, that's what I said. 3 times 2 3 times 2 and 14 times 8. That's just getting the numbers all messed up. So don't do that. And then this right here, we have addition again. That's not right. Okay. Um, so boom, B is my answer for part A. I'm not done though because I got to get part B. What was the total amount that Sue spent? So I already have my equation over here. We just need to solve it out. So I'm going to solve out my parentheses first. 14 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12. Ooh, it's high up here in the clouds. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4, 42. And then I'm adding <clears throat> 2 times 8. I was about to do that over here. That's easy. 2 times 8 is 16. Pretty good. Equals T. Just to be sure when I add them right now, I'm going to put it over here vertically. 2 plus 6 is 8. 4 plus 1 is 5, so $58 make you holla. $58. Oh. Okay, 58 If I were writing with a pencil, of course I would have erased that and wrote it down correctly, but it's $58. Do I put all of the work inside of this box? No. Nope. I need to put just my answer. All right, so I have to cut the camera now. We gotta cut this into two parts because the video is too long for this one. Um, so this is part one. The other one will be part two, so go ahead and make sure you click that to get the other two remaining problems.